Hey, good morning. It's Karen TV, and today our topic is all about what is dating. A lot of people get confused with what is dating. Um, I don't know. Is it okay for me to date more than one person? Um, is it okay for me to date one person? I don't know. Um, should I just, you know, always be available for this person? Listen, dating should not be able you. You're not a whole, if you date, you, you're dating this person, you stop dating, you date another person, you date, as long as you're not sleeping with the person, it's not, it's okay. But once you start sleeping with the person, you break up with the next person, it, 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 I give you a long list of sex partners, not cool. Dating partners, that's okay. You're getting to know people. It's like networking. You're trying to figure out who is the candidate for your life partner. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, dating one person exclusively, it gets a little tricky because then you think that you're in a relationship and then when you do see them not calling or whatever, you get a little paranoid and, but, and honestly, you're yeah, still just dating. So, um, yeah, I didn't get to the next level where I just said, oh, that we're in a relationship. Now we're going to go to the Bible so we can like, you know, break this down further. So here we go. We're going to go to Ecclesiastics 3.3, 3, which read, A time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up. Now, what a time to kill is, that little phase right there is a time for you to relax. Um, let your guard, not, not let your guard down, sorry. A time to just research the person. You know what I'm saying? Read them. Then it's a time to heal. That time to heal is to differentiate between what the other person who didn't work out with you and the person that you're trying to work on, like date. You know, what do you have in common, what they don't have in common, and you just leave the past in the past and you just try to heal, move on. You know what I'm saying? Try to correct your mistakes. Don't go the same route. Now there's a time to break down. When you break down, that's when you're breaking down the walls. You're letting the person in. You're letting them take you to new experiences and new um, surroundings and environments. And you you seeing what they can they can add to your life. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to add to my stress. You're supposed to add to my happiness. And when you actually leave from my happiness and into my stress, that's when I have to leave from you and just disappear. That's what you should do when you're dating. Then there's a time to build up. When you build up, you're building up. You finally get to that point where you're like, this person is who I see my future with. And hopefully they see the same thing in you. And if they don't, then that's not the person for you, obviously. And you need to do more research on that person. You need to go back to the time to kill and, you know, start researching them, pull back. You know, that's when the time to you know, heal, you, you have mistakes, you go back and see what mistakes you made and how can you fix them. That way, the dating process. And dating is the person takes you out. You're not hanging out in the house all day talking about, yeah, I'm dating, I'm going to his house. No, no, no. You have to go out. He has to take you out. You have to get dressed up, so does he, to go somewhere. Um, get to know his interests, his dislikes. He's getting to know your interests, your dislikes. And, you know, you see if you are really attracted to him or if you're not. In time, you get to know everything about the person. Believe me, before you start sleeping with them, you can see all their habits. And when you do that, you won't have to feel bad about the decision you made by sleeping with the person. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, oh my God, I gave them so much of my time. That's why dating process is so, so important within anybody's life or, you know, next step to a relationship. You have to go through the dating process. He can't say, oh, let's, let's eat in. Like, no, 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 no. I am not going to not enjoy life because you want to stay in and you are broke well if you broke then you shouldn't be asking nobody out on no date or into a relationship because if you can't afford to 
you know, treat me to nice things now, then you definitely can't afford it later. So um, no, go no gold diggers. You shouldn't be a gold digger. Just know that um, you are what you desire. So if you are broke, you're going to desire broke. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what you're going to get. But if you are not broke, why should you desire broke? You're going to desire somebody equal or higher. You know what I'm saying? And even if you're broke, you're going to desire someone equal or higher. Now, if you if you can't add to my, you know, my wealth or to my happiness or my knowledge or anything, then why should I go down when I'm trying to go up myself? Does that make any sense? You got to always have somebody better than you or equal so y'all can grow together. Hmm? That's the dating process. So hopefully you're not going on a date and someone's telling you, can you pay? And know that. If you the one asking somebody out on a date, best believe you should be prepared to pay for them. Women or men, or men, like regardless of the gender. But when it comes to your about equal, equal, this and then no. Once you say, can you go on a date? You you are saying, I can afford to pay for me and you. And um, if you're hungry, I'm gonna offer you. You you can't just take me out on a date for several hours and you don't think that I'm hungry. As long, if I turn it down, that's cool. But if you don't offer, that's a check in the book. You know what I'm saying? Like, right off. <laughs> he didn't pay for me to eat, but I could eat, and he trying to eat from my food? There's something wrong with that. There's something wrong with that. People, can I get an amen? <laughs> now, enjoy your week and your weekend, because I'll see you again Friday. Bye, stay blessed and beautiful. Bye.